2024 has only just begun and it's already a great year to be an Omori fan. As of the time of me writing this, I just watched the Omori Orchestral concert for its third birthday and it was absolutely fantastic. We got amazing performances, a collector's edition announcement, and even a teaser for the upcoming manga. Also, Omocat face reveal. Welcome to a new segment I'm doing for the channel where I cover upcoming Omori related news for the lot of you. Not sure if it'll take off, but provided this gets a decent amount of views, I'll make it a regular series on the channel. Let's look more in depth on what's happened recently in the world of Omori. Like Sunny's mom, the collector's edition is gorgeous, but expensive. This thing is available on the Switch or PlayStation 4 for about $80, and it comes with a ton of stuff. There's a collector's box, a bottle cap for Orange Joe, a music sheet booklet, a flower bookmark, a Mari drawing, the list goes on. But the real highlight is the music box piano that the collector's edition trailer opened with during the recital. Speaking of the recital, the collector's edition also comes with tickets for the Sunny and Mari piano performance that infamously never came to be, as pointed out by Marmani on Twitter. Quote after being roughly translated by Google, the fact that concert tickets exist means that Kel, Aubrey, Hero, and Basil all have them. I'm sure that even now, they'll always have tickets to concerts that will never be held again, deep in their desks, among their precious books, right behind their photo frame. Wow, thanks for that, Marmani. Appreciate you. Not like we're all reliving enough pain after seeing that fiddle work towards the tail end of the concert. By the way, if you're looking for an easy way to enjoy the live versions of any of these tracks, Friend of the Channel Fade has uploaded all of them as individual videos and compiled them in a playlist. A link to that playlist will be provided in the description. One of my personal favorites was their cover of Now in the 50s, which has a decidedly more RPG feel like you're resting at an inn since they use a flute this time. As I mentioned, we also got a look at the manga. It was really neat seeing an animated trailer for it and all. I'll admit it will take some getting used to seeing these characters in this new art style. The dotted eyes are an Omori staple at this point, so taking it away for anything else is going to be a big adjustment. Still, this new design does seem to allow for a wider range of emotions on the characters' faces, even if they all have eyes like Kiyoka from Hero Academia. This is kind of a smaller tidbit, but turns out the Omori walkthrough guide has higher quality images of the art seen in the final duet cutscene than the actual game. These were posted by I am an Omo boy on Twitter. He's what I've dubbed an Omori preservationist. He's even cleaned up scans of art on Omori merchandise. This is especially awesome for me since it gives me more official Omori art that I can feature in my thumbnails, but hey, maybe you'll find it cool too, I don't know. Appreciate the contributions to the Omori content creator space, Omo boy. Keep it up, dude. Already a pretty eventful week, right? It gets better, believe it or not. On top of everything announced at the concert, a long dormant fan mod called Rainy Mari released over 13 minutes of footage for the upcoming project. There's cutscenes and lots of footage showing the gang fighting bees? The developers on this project are kind of reserved, but I've talked to the project lead before and he's a super chill dude. You'd recommend on this thing when it inevitably releases. Be sure to follow their Twitter account and my own for more ongoing news. There was another big ripple in the community recently, and unfortunately, I have to take the blame for this one. I made a video explaining my issues with the Omori community, and Omori Twitter in particular. When this video goes live, it'll be at like 100k in less than 8 days, the fastest growing upload out of anything I've published. Appreciate you all for that one. It was never my intention to be a controversial figure in the Omori community, but this video has definitely set some sort of precedent. Um, go ahead and watch that one if you're feeling brave enough. Terrified that the video was practically going to grow appendages, reach out, take their hero and Omori plushies, and cram them together like The Rock in that skit from Family Guy.
off topic time, I'm sure you've heard we lost Akira Toriyama on the first of this month and it was confirmed about a week later. I barely know what to say. I grew up with the Dragon Ball Z graphic novels and read through them so quickly I'd frustrate my mom because she'd have to buy more the very next day. The fact that most of the pages were fight scenes probably helped there. This was a huge cornerstone of my childhood. I feel like a part of me is just gone now. Heart goes out to his family. No one ever had a style quite like his. Rest in peace, dude. Another tiny bit of news, channel memberships are up. I plan on releasing exclusive videos in the future, and you can vote on upcoming uploads too. There's other ways to support as well. Patreon, Coffee, Discord subscriptions. Let me know if this is something you want me to keep doing as an ongoing series. Hope to see you guys again very soon.